This is Jan Eggenfellner at Viking Aircraft with uh, John at Home Build Help. Uh, we're making a short video at Oshkosh 2010. Uh, good news for our company and for people that have been waiting for a relatively inexpensive light sport aircraft engine is that we just flew here three days ago now at, uh, at Oshkosh. We have the Viking engine here. It flew beautiful from, uh, well we have obviously time on it before we left, but the, the real good news is the flight from Florida to Oshkosh was uh, uh, obviously uneventful. Uh, engine produces 110 horsepower at takeoff. It uh, cruises along at 5,000 RPM to 5,400 RPM. Most of the way up was at 5,200 and uh, an exact fuel burn of 5 gallons an hour. And the Zenit uh, 601 HDS uh, was cruising at 125 miles an hour. So all the numbers are very compatible to other engines of the same class. Uh, the uh, upgrade to the engine, since last time we had a short video down at Sun and Fun, are things such as uh, CNC machine components. We now have a, uh, a finalized version of the reduction drive with the 2.33 to 1 ratio. It has a, uh, a really a unique setup in that it uh, does have a flexible torsion damping uh, component in between the engine and the uh, gearbox itself. Once that's installed, of course, the important thing with that is that it's kept cold or cool. The flywheel has been machined as an impeller. It sucks air in from the surrounding area and it cools down the damper assembly as well as the gearbox itself being hollow on the backside and having fairly thin wall thickness. The, the amazing thing is for people, you know, for people that know about motorcycles or gearboxes and realize that the gearbox is only as good or the bearings and shafts are only as good as the alignment of the components the way they're installed when the unit is at operating temperature and with this fan built into the flywheel the in-flight temperature of the gearbox is less than 130 degrees which is just slightly above what you can feel with your hand so uh, obviously the gearbox is producing heat when it's running but it's cool, being cooled equally well from the back uh, removing the same heat the uh, engine mount has been designed for the Zenit uh, airplane now. It's a stainless steel mount. We decided to go with that for cleanliness and uh, strength is equal to the 4130 mount that it would replace. The uh, coolant tank is part of the engine. It's up here with a sight gauge on it. It has a uh, water, uh, um, water pump right behind it with an alternator. As far as completion, as far as completion on the uh, on the engine, this engine is now production ready. We have uh, a few minor things that we've already incorporated into a, a pr yet another revision of this engine, and it it has small updates that just makes the engine uh, one step better for production. One of them includes uh, such things as the uh, the oil cooler. We discovered that an oil cooler is necessary on the engine, and certainly nice to have on a hot day. The hoses that are associated with the cooler have been removed on the next generation engine and we will show pictures of that on our website shortly. The oil cooler itself is now installed with uh, flexible o-rings and it is part of the oil pan. There are no hoses for it. As well as the oil pickup tube is also internal to the machined oil pan. The uh, intake manifold is a CNC machined component. Uh, we now have an air filter, very simple, right up front, right after the propeller. The, there's no ducting required, it just goes right through the filter and right up into the plenum and down into the engine. We've been running the Sensenich three blade ground adjustable propeller. Um, it comes with uh, six different adjustment pins. We've been running uh, the courses adjustment that we that we uh, were allowed to set we're using these uh, supplied adjustments pins and we have a 68 inch uh, propeller at the maximum pitch and we're still turning it uh, over 5000 rpm so there's no question that we're not uh, that we are or are not making horsepower which is a good news we have uh, an engine that runs uh, quiet 
it now has a dual stage exhaust system. Uh, it's a very lightweight 321 stainless steel dual chamber muffler uh, with a built-in exit pipe. The uh, coils are from Honda. They're right on the spark plugs. The ECU or the computer that operates the engine is a dual unit where you have, just as in a magneto-powered airplane, you have a, a left and a right and you can double check that on, on takeoff or prior to takeoff. The engine is now in a flyable condition like what we promised when we were at Sun and Fun that we would go one step further and now have a, a close to production ready engine. We're taking orders. The deliveries are going to be in December for these first orders. I'm flying the engine every day now. It's a fantastic engine. It has uh, all the things that we wanted. It cools properly. It's got good power and uh, sounds just like a 912 as far as sound. So um, get with it.